Drones were one of the hottest topics ahead of CES and we've seen plenty of them out here on the show floor. Now, however, we're going to talk to somebody who actually carries a drone in his backpack because he doesn't have a booth here. And that's the CEO of 3D Robotics, Chris Anderson. 3D Robotics is the largest drone manufacturer in the US right now. And we're going to talk to Chris about the state of the industry, the state of his company, and what's ahead for the drone industry going forward. I've never seen a market move from military industrial to toy as quickly as drones have. I mean, literally in like three years, it went from really hackery hard stuff to the shelves of Walmart. This is Iris, which is our first sort of step in the consumer electronics field. It's great, but it's not quite ready for the shelves of Walmart. What's missing? There's a couple things. To integrate the video into the drone experience with a GoPro is one important step. Also from an industrial design perspective, it could be uh, smaller and lighter and have longer flight time. And uh, that's something we're all going um, into. And then there's um, a whole level of autonomy um, to act, not just have it fly, but get a cinematic shot. If you had Steven Spielberg telling the story of your life, he'd be using cranes and booms and director of photography. Well, you don't have that, but you do have an app. And getting that app to sort of internalize the cinematic values of a great director, that's what you'll see in our next version. Do you think that that's going to be the main use for consumer drones, those kinds of videos? You know, what we're seeing is the golden age of personal storytelling with video. So our cameras are amazing, including the ones on our phone. The tools to edit the video is getting better. The tools to share the video are getting better. And what you don't have is the perspective, the ability to move beyond the selfie stick. There's a reason why we're called 3D Robotics, it's the third dimension and not only get that perspective, but also bring the intelligence in, into the shot so you don't have to spend you know, an hour editing video afterwards. It seems like all of the drone companies are more or less moving in that direction, right? Is there space to differentiate yourself? Basically, we're the Android of UAVs. And by that, by that, I mean not just a kind of a full stack software, but also open. So many of these companies are using our software, and that's great. Um, so we're not competing with them. They're part of our ecosystem. But when it, we as a hardware company compete with them, there's two ways. One is increasingly smart and beautifully integrated technology. And the second big industry, and this is even bigger than consumers, the commercial industry. As these things move from GoPros in the air to agriculture, construction, and infrastructure, and real estate and all those other things. And so anytime you move into a, you know, basically a, a market of thousands of verticals, that's where platforms win. And you're going to get specialists in each one of those domains building custom vehicles on our platform to address the needs of that domain. And, and that's something that none of the consumer uh, companies to date have, um, have done. You mentioned commercial usage. Mm. And there's still the, the issue of the FAA being yeah, yeah. rather slow. Is that holding you back, or what are your thoughts about those kinds of commercial? It's not holding us back because the market is entirely consumer right now. And what's good for consumers turns out to be good for commercials. So, you know, easy to use, reliable, cheap, small, etc. Everybody wants that. You know, we're getting better at the products that will ultimately be commercial products. Turning the, what we've learned from consumer and turning this into, a, into something that's, that's, that, that can work in things like agriculture and, and construction. What do you think that mix is going to be five years from now? Is it still going to be mainly consumers? No, five years from now it will be, will be mostly commercial. Um, and so the path to commercial is, is threefold. Number one is getting the products in place. And, that, and what I mean is that you know, nobody wants, you know, in a commercial sector, you don't want a drone, you want a solution. You want a button that tells you, are my, are my, are my, are my, cows, are my cows still in the paddock? Are my tomatoes ripe? You know, um, you to map the construction site. Um, so turning these products into a single button solution is going to take time. And on the regulation front, um, we've created something called the Small UAV Coalition with uh, Google and Amazon and GoPro and others, and um, specifically to emphasize small, to recognize that the current regulatory path is oriented towards aerospace companies and things flying up there around the jets that we have been hearing all too much of right now. Um, but small UAVs are a whole different class. And by small, this is going to be big compared to where they're going to be. They're going to be about this big, under four pounds, under 400 feet. And they, they shouldn't be regulated like a 747. And so we're doing three things. We're, we're both uh, lobbying you know, and, and participating in the FAA regulations to encourage them to accelerate this path towards commercial use of small UAVs. We're working as an industry to make these UAVs much safer, to so use the intelligence to keep them out of you know, manned aircraft. And we're, going, and we're starting an education campaign to help communities around the country, because privacy is regulated on a local basis, to help them understand that drones are not you know, hellfire or carrying you know, death from above, but rather very small, relatively safe um, things that have useful functions. 
set the problem that we're calling them drones and not UAVs? I think the drones is a word that we can recontextualize. If I do my job, five years from now, we'll think of drones as being those things that buzz over, over crops, or those things that you know, people, like GoPros, they, things that people take to the beach. Um, and you'll forget um, that they were once purely military uh, technologies. Ask me in a few years whether, whether people still think of it as scary.